This is my semi-automatic six-shot blaster. The blaster is printed as a single part, with all the mechanics included. To fire, just grab a loaded magazine and slide it onto the blaster. You can fire off six shots in a row without having to cock it each time. And after the last shot, the magazine drops out automatically. In this video, I will show you how the blaster works and how you can build your own. Enjoy! To give you a clear look at how it works, I printed a cutout model that shows all the important details. Let's start with the magazine. This is where the bullets are stored. They're just snapped in place so they don't fall out. Six in total. Now let's focus on the blaster. We've got the trigger, which has a hook that latches onto the hammer. The hammer is responsible for firing the bullets. When you pull the trigger, the hammer gets pulled back, and the magazine shifts down a bit until the bullet rests on the ledge. If you continue pulling the trigger, it moves further back until the hook is pushed down. When it's pushed down far enough, the hammer gets released and snaps forward hitting and firing the bullet. When you let go of the trigger, it moves back to the front, and the hook locks onto the hammer again. The trigger's design is basically just there to control the hammer's movement, pulling it back and releasing it. And gravity takes care of loading the next bullet into place. All right, let's build your own blaster. First, you gotta download the 3D print files from MakerWorld. The link's down in the description. Next, you'll need to pick which blaster you want to print. The one with all the struts on the hammer has a bit more range, but it takes more effort to fire. Just take out the other blaster and rearrange the parts. Now we can start printing. Once everything has cooled down, you can take the parts off the print bed. Let's start with the magazine. First, remove the brim. It would have been nice to print without it, but unfortunately, that didn't work well at all. Now you can load the bullets into the magazine. Just push them in until they click into place. You should hear a little click when they're secure. Next, grab the blaster and test if the mechanics are working as they should. Attach the magazine, and you're good to go. To wrap things up, we print the targets from the model file. But before we can use them, we have to bend them into shape. First, find the notch. It needs to be on the inside when you bend it. Then, just fold the base while pushing the tab upwards. This tab needs to go into the slot. When the base is bent to 90 degrees, the tab should snap securely into place. And just like that, your first target is ready. Once all the targets are done and set up, we can start shooting again. With the strong blaster, the targets can be almost three meters away, but here they're way closer. I just don't want to embarrass myself. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, please consider subscribing. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.